Peace, y'all. All right, so let me make this quick as usual, short, sweet. You already know what we rocking with. We on folks finance and we moving the money. I made this account just so that y'all can follow along with an account and see how things are going. So this is day two of this account. So I just came here to rebalance it. Yeah, this is my D Fly account right here. This is the D Fly D Fly Wallet account. Let me change the name on his soon so y'all can see it. But as of right now, this is the B3, the B3 uh wallet. Cause I gotta try to keep track. So obviously liquidation on the downtrend is over 10%. That mean that downtrend been moving. It ain't nothing but 63 cents. So I'm not gonna even bother with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my uptrend. And I'm going to rebalance the uptrend and add a few dollars to that. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's just do 150. Add 150 uh, Algorand to this uptrend. Okay. Confirm. Confirm. Boom, boom, boom. All right. You see my, uh, what was it? What was the total? 34. Now it's 62, right? And I just added few dollars so it's over 10 percent uptrend money liquidation margin is over 10 percent so i'm gonna borrow 15 dollars that's gonna make sure you check in your box when you look at this too it's gonna take my liquidation margin from 61 down to 10. borrow confirm right and this is the account i want you to watch this account grow all right because i'm gonna be showing you so i added to the down uptrend and then that $15 that I took from the uptrend, I'm going to add that $15 to my downtrend. All right. And this is how you put the money. Obviously, I could pull this money out if I want, but I'm just going to put it back into the account and let it flow, let it grow. Mm. And look, the liquidation goes from 11% up to 59% because I added the $17. All right. Let's check the numbers. We have $79 in total collateral now from that transaction. Total borrowed 38. Net API 1.78. Still making more than these banks. All right. So our liquidation margin is over 10%. So we can borrow. Off that $17 that we just deposited, we're going to borrow $12. All right. Um, let me see. And where are we at? We at the 80. Okay, so this was at 10% and it went down to 9.97. So that's signaling to me that the downtrend is kind of strong right now. So what I'll do is I'll take that $12 that I just borrowed, that I just took out, and I'm going to put that $12 into the downtrend collateral. Okay. I don't have any USDC in my wallet, so that's why I'm swapping out to collateralize right now. So just adding $12 will take my liquidation from 10 to 34%. Swap and collateralize. Confirm. Okay, boom, we did that. Check the numbers. Okay, um, now we got a total of $91. Okay, we're going to borrow. How much we borrow? Now we're borrowing $8. And you know what? That's actually that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this account to an even 100 for the video, and then we'll come back and check it later. Boom. Uh, downtrend still pumping. I'm going to go with the downtrend, and I'm going to add 10 more dollars. Really $9 because we had 91, right? I'm just going to add $10, and y'all can check the video for the numbers later. Okay. And this is just so y'all can have something to follow along with. This is how you do it. Any questions, comments, or concerns, share the video, spread the word. I appreciate the support. Check the time, check the scope. We had $101.04. Total borrows $59.14. Net APY is 0 0.32. Still more than any bank around. Um, and then these loans will be working. All right. This is how you work the money. And I'm going to leave it just like this for the. But the, uh, you know what? Let me actually, let me clear this. Clear this real quick. This 720, I'm about to put this $720 into the deposit area. And you know, the deposit area is basically your bank account. So next video, you'll see the 720 in here added to this. I'm out.